get a report of a line down at an old power at 4333 Jeff Road in Cody. 4333 Jeff Road, line down, 10-4. We're going to show you an incorrect and a correct way to hook up a generator. During storms, we have noticed a lot of ways that people have hooked up generators incorrectly. If you'll notice that Dion is going to plug it into the plug, and basically what we're representing here, a lot of people would get a, a long cord and they would pull their dryer out and unplug their dryer and plug, just like Dion is, plug this plug into their dryer and back feed through their house without turning their main breaker off. By doing this, that goes through your panel box, through your meter base, back through your service to the transformer, and back out on the line. If you'll notice, they're going to put the meter on here, and it'll tell you how many thousand volts the generator is actually backfeeding on the line just by putting 120, 240 volts back through this transformer. We've got our drop cord plugged in. He's going to show you that it's going to backfeed through the 104 panel box, through the meter base, through the service, back into the transformer act as a step-up transformer. It'll come out the high side, and as Scott shows you over here on this side, it's actually putting out 7,700 volts. If you're going to treat the line as it's dead and properly grounded, and you get up there and actually work, they're going to demonstrate with this piece of wood you getting in between a primary and a ground. Now, as you notice, as the generator is running, the breaker never trips. It's still showing load. Now the next thing we're going to actually show you is if you'll notice our yellow taxi, a lot of times during vehicle wrecks when a car is to hit a pole, the normal procedure is either the fuse blows or the breaker operates until it locks out. As a lineman, you're trained and you know when those lines are de-energized, but you have to remember from the person that might be down the street that has this generator hooked up incorrectly, and while those first responders are trying to rescue somebody out of the car, or you're trying to get those power lines off the car and it's not properly grounded, this is what might potentially happen to you. It could be 10 minutes into the rescue and somebody hooks this generator up incorrectly. If those lines are not properly grounded and off that car, this is what's going to happen. Now, as we said earlier, if you remember, this generator has a 25 amp breaker. As we're going to show you on this amp meter, it's 85.4 amps before the breaker actually tripped. It takes less than a half amp to end your life. So keep this in mind when you're out there working. And also keep in mind for those guys that are trying to do rescues on the car, even if you're a trained lineman and you know it's de-energized, go ahead and make sure it's properly grounded for them also because their life is in jeopardy. Even though somebody down the street is not understanding how they're hooking the generator up incorrectly, they can actually backfeed it on them while they're working. Now the next thing we're going to actually show you is the correct way to hook up a generator. And what we have is we have a transfer switch that goes inside your panel box. As they hook the generator up, if you'll notice over here, they're going to hook the cord in just like we did earlier. And normally people will mount a plug beside their panel box. As we come to this side, Dion is actually going to show you the plug that's mounted beside the panel box. And basically this goes inside your panel box. If you'll notice, he'll point out up at the top, you have a utility feed and a generator feed. Before your generator actually can put power into your panel box, you have to turn that breaker on. As Dion will show you, he'll turn that breaker on. As he turns that breaker on, it cancels out the utility breaker and turns it off. Both breakers cannot be in the own position at the same time. Now they're going to go ahead and crank the generator up and show you that the light bulb on the 102 Main Street will come on when you turn the generator feed on, but it can't back feed onto any other of the lines. Now what he's doing, he's turning his generator feed on, it turns the utility feed off. If you'll notice the 104 Main Street light bulb does not come on, so it doesn't back feed onto the line. We want to emphasize this is a safe and correct way. It makes it safe for the linemen that are doing the work, our families, and the first responders.